What's up, guys? How are you? Happy Saturday. Welcome into a late version of the Daily Juice podcast with me, Matt Peralt, at Sports Talk Matt, to follow me on Twitter. This podcast being brought to you by BetMGM, the $1,000 first bet offer for new users with that promo code JUICE when you set up for a new account for new users at BetMGM.com. So this podcast normally drops, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of like, you know, 1 a.m. Eastern. Well, there's a lot of people in town. So I was down on the strip. I was down at Circa. And so it's currently 1.15 in the morning Pacific time. This is a little unusual. So you guys went in the Discord channel. Matt, are you okay? Just know this podcast is a morning podcast. Like the actual deadline is 6 a.m. Eastern time. So I technically have like two hours to get this thing up by that standard. So I'm fine. Nothing, you know, nothing to worry about. Just a later night on the strip here in Las Vegas. So tonight... As I tape this in the morning, I've got four bets for you guys. I have three bets in college basketball. I have one bet in hockey, and I don't know what to do with the main event for the UFC card tonight. I want to bet on Draj, but I just, I don't know. Minus 120, something about the number smells, something about the number feels like a trap in a way that like, how live is the dog in that fight? I just don't know. So if I do like it and I end up betting it, I will put it in the Discord channel bettingpros.com slash chat to get into that if I add. But as of right now, four bets going, four, four, over four units going for us here tonight. One hockey, three in college basketball. But let's talk about Betting Pros Premium for one second. Betting Pros Premium, we are giving away, Betting Pros Premium, we're giving away a one-year premium upgrade here to Betting Pros Premium. And it's pretty easy to win it. All you have to do is just subscribe to this YouTube channel, comment underneath this video. And when you do, you could win a free year upgrade to betting pros premium, whether you're looking for to access exclusive picks, top rated player props or custom analysis of your betting performance. Betting pros premium has tools to help you catch more bets. It's that simple. Don't want to wait for the giveaway though. Sign up today, bettingpros.com slash upgrade and start betting smarter, not betting harder. All right, let's start with hockey. Hockey's been really good. I've had a great week. There's one bet that jumped off the page to me that I simply had to make, and that is the Columbus Blue Jackets at the Dallas Stars. At home, the Dallas Stars are 9-1 to the under over their last 10 games. They played on the road last night against Minnesota. 2-1 game there. That game was way under. We got the first period under for one unit. They cashed for Minnesota. They continue to be an absolute cash cow. Vancouver, Minnesota, whenever they play right now, write it in. Vancouver over, Minnesota under, first period over, first period under. Just bet it, okay? F bottom line, just bet it. Tonight, Dallas, 9-1. Either goaltender's fine. Doesn't matter to me. Columbus on the road is a little bit of an under team. They're 5-4-1 and one to the under. It's not dramatic, but Dallas being such an under team... It's minus 105, good push potential on a 4-2 final, 5-1 final, under 6, minus 105, 1.05 units down on Dallas at home against Columbus. We're taking the under 6 there. Okay, let's talk a little college basketball. Let's start with Providence and their home game tonight that I don't understand this number. There are certain numbers that just kind of make me go, wait, what? So Providence is a very good team at home. In fact, they're undefeated. They're 14-0 at home, all right? So you have a 14-0 team at home with Providence. They're 30th ranked on Ken Palm. They're taking on Villanova. Numbers three and a half. Ken Palm has this number as a seven-point win for Providence. I just don't understand this. Providence number-wise, they have the 21st best adjusted efficient offense in college basketball, and they're facing a defense that's 91st in adjusted efficiency. Defensively, Providence is pretty good, 61st. Offensively, Nova's okay, but Nova can't rebound. They're one of the worst rebounding teams in all of college basketball, and Providence is tough as nails when they're playing at home in particular. They are a rebounding. They are 12th in the country in offensive rebound percentage. Nova can't rebound. Nova's going to have a real tough time with the toughness and the intensity. 
I like Providence here. I'm going to follow Ken Palm. We get three and a half points of value here. Ken Palm has the number at seven. Providence, this number opened at five. It was bet down to three and a half. Don't understand it. Give me the home favorite. Game's on Fox. Big Fox. I'm taking Providence at home to win their 15th straight game at home. Providence minus three and a half for 1.1 units. Now, speaking of Ken Palm, let's talk a little bit about Alabama and Bama's game here up against Georgia. I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do this. This comes, I talked to Dave Sherapan tonight. We were at Circa together and he just talked me into this. Alabama's at home against Georgia. They're laying 18 and a half points. And I'm like, Dave, are we really going to go bet 18 points today? 18 and a half points. And he said, yeah. And the reason is Alabama at home annihilates teams. And Alabama just lost to Tennessee. So they're coming home angry, not happy at all. Alabama at home against the spread, they're 8-4 and four ATS. Against the SEC, they're 10-3. and three. Here are the games that Alabama has won at home. They were laying 9.5 at home against Florida. They won by 28. They were laying 15 points at home against Vanderbilt. They won by 57. They were laying 11.5 against Mississippi State. Only won by 3, didn't cover. But they were laying 14.5 against LSU. They won by 40. They were laying four and a half against Kentucky, the one by 26. They were laying 10 and a half points against Mississippi, I'll guess Ole Miss, and they won by 22. <laughs> In the SEC, when they have been at home and when they've been laying double digits, they have covered every game except one. It was nine and a half against Florida, and they won the game by 28 points. I'm going to be ridiculous and hold my nose here, and I'm going to take Alabama minus 18 and a half. It's a crazy number. You may go Bama in the first half. You might like that better. But Alabama, I think, is going to kill Georgia today, who is not good, who somehow has won their last two games against Kentucky and LSU at home. But on the road, <laughs> they've been awful. Five and six ATS, one and four over the last five, two and eight over their last 10. Alabama minus 18 and a half. Yuck. I'm going to do it. For 1.1 units. And then finally, and Ken Palm, by the way, has this as, as a 20 point win for Alabama. So there's a point and a half of value with Ken Palm. And then finally, another total that I found to be interesting. We got Kansas up against Baylor. Game of the day. Lines five. Ken Palm has it as a four point win for Kansas. Ah, too tight, right? 148 and a half is the total. Ken Palm has this at 152. Three and a half points of value. It's not as dramatic as we saw early in the week, but I'm 4-0 betting college basketball this week by following a lot of these trends with Ken Palm when there's a big difference. And this is a three and a half point difference. It's over one possession, full difference between Kansas and, o Kansas and Baylor's total. I'm going to bet over. 148 and a half. We're talking about the number one adjusted efficiency for offense in Baylor. And a team that's okay defensively, not outstanding. Kansas can score. We know they're capable of going up and down. We know Kansas is capable of putting in points against pretty much anybody here. 15 and 11 to the over for KU on the year. KU at home is 8 and 5 to the over. Baylor is 6 and 5 on the road to the over. Baylor has not been an over team. Just three of the last 10 games have gone over for Baylor, but five and five for Kansas. First time these two teams have played. Last game out against Oklahoma State, it was 140 and a half. Game went over by 22 and a half points for Kansas. The last home game was against, against Texas, 145 and a half, and the game went over by 22 and a half points. Again, at home against Kansas State, it was 145 and a half. It went over by 22 and a half, okay? These games have been flying over at home. 148 and a half. Ken Palm has it at 152. Let's bet the over. Baylor, Kansas, over 148 and a half here for 1.1 units. All right? So four bets going, 4.4 units in play, basically. The Blues under six and minus 105. Providence minus three and a half, minus 110. Alabama minus 18 and a half, minus 110. 
and Baylor over 148 and a half at Kansas at minus 110. If I add in anything else, I will let you guys know in the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat. Let's have a day. Hopefully not a bad day. Let's have another winning day. I'm pretty confident we're going to have a winning week. I'll have to check how many units we could be wound up up, but we started 10 and one and then we were flat yesterday and then we won two more units again. So pretty confident that we're way up this week. We're doing very well. I got to check the math and check the old, the counting of it all, but it's been a good week. Let's have a good Saturday. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt every single morning. It is the Daily Juice Podcast being brought to you by BetMGM.